queries are a feature that will absolutely power how you interact with capacities. And I want to show you a couple of examples today where I build out this homepage. So this video will show you how I am creating a random list of quotes that I can update every day, a random list of things that I have objects on but might not have learned very much about and it might be a nice bit of encouragement to dive back into a new topic. And in this main section, query that collects everything that is in progress in my life right now to make sure that I am keeping on top of everything that I need to keep on top of. So let's start off by looking at how to create a randomizing quote query. Now there are lots of ways to create queries, some of which have been touched on in the individual videos, but one that I haven't shown yet is how you can do them in line. So if I do forward slash and query, what I want to do is query the quotes. So I can type that in and that helps refine the search and I click enter and it has given me all of my quotes. I don't want all of them, I want a random list of them. So to do that, I can press edit and it has already found that I want to just look at quotes and what I want to do is limit the results. I want to see as few as possible, which is five. Instead of seeing the first five that match the search, I want to look at a random five. If I click update, that has now updated and I'm going to adjust the view to be a wall view. These are quite long quotes for sure, but now what I can do is press this randomize button and it will cycle through them. So that is that set up in a very short amount of time. I also want to look at things that I have started learning but might not have paid too much attention to. For this, I don't want to query just one object type. So all I'm going to do is do forward slash query and click enter and this will bring up the query builder. This allows me to work in a bigger space. So the question here is what am I actually looking for? What these objects have in common is I haven't really done much to them and that means I haven't tagged them. They probably haven't got search terms within them to look at. So object types are the best option for me here. The first thing that I can do is choose all of the object types I'd like to look in. I will go for these ones and then what I can do is filter by properties. So if I open this and click filter, all of the properties that are associated with all of those object types are included here. Now, what I actually want to do is look at things with the lowest number of backlinks because that suggests I probably haven't done much to them if they're not connected to other bits of content. So I'm going to click number of backlinks and we will look for anything that is not backlinked. If I click create, I see that I have 41 things that are not backlinked and clearly some things that I need to delete. I'll do that now quickly with bulk actions. But obviously 35 things is quite overwhelming for me to look at. I can't look at everything at once. So I'm going to click edit again and I'm going to click limit results. And again, I'm going to choose random five. So I'm going to do something called random five to research and then go back home. And because I started this query from this block, even though I didn't build it here, the sort of command for me to start it came from here. It has automatically embedded into this page too. And again, I have the randomizer and I have the wall view too. So looking at this, I might think, okay, let's do some research into Zethel Gaston or should I rewatch this film? It's just a nice little reminder there. So that's the fun side of randomizing queries. But now let's build out this very simple query, which currently is an object type query, only looking for goals that are in progress. I also will have projects that are in progress. So I'm going to add projects and then add a filter that's looking just at the projects. Project status. Update that and now that is there ready for me. I'm going to make it a wall view so it's slightly more compressed and now I can see what's going on and that will help me plan my weekly goals. I might also move this around so I can make it a weekly goal to research something new too. So hopefully this shows you some of the ways that you might use queries in context. Here I've built out a homepage which I hope to be as fun and inspiring as useful for getting my things done. Queries is definitely a really exciting feature and we really recommend that you play around with them. If you have any questions about them we'd be happy to help so please just let us know.